Yeah. Good evening, students. Today we are going to start second chapter in tenth class. The chapter name is respiration. Energy releasing system. What is chapter name? Respiration. So along with that, there is a one caption. Energy releasing system. I am going to write first lesson name. Respiration. Okay. This is our chapter name. Respiration is our chapter name. What is given here? Another uh, caption below that. The energy releasing system. See. The energy releasing system. So first I would like to explain about the introduction of respiration. Listen carefully. It should, should be useful to you. You have to understand what is the respiration system. How does it work? That we are going to discuss in this uh, chapter in detail. One by one step where, what happens, how it occurs, everything we are going to discuss. Okay, so let us start the content here. So here, whatever the caption is there, respiration, the energy releasing system. Why it is called as energy releasing system? First we have to know. So what was our previous chapter? Nutrition. Okay, our previous means the first chapter nutrition. So what did we learn in that nutrition chapter? We learnt about human digestive system. What happened in that human digestive system? Whatever the ingestion occur, all that substances, digestion occur, that chain as microscopic substances like fatty acids, glycerols and glucose. So these are the end products of human digestive system. So that is not enough to get energy in our body cells. Entire our body cells will not get directly from the glucose, fatty acids and glycerols. What will happen here? That uh, digested substances combined with oxygen those substances again breaks down and they release energy in the form of ATP adenosine triphosphate in the form of ATP adenosine triphosphate how does it occur that we are going to discuss in this chapter okay so what did I say human digestive system uh, when we observe the end products of glucose, glycerols and fatty acids, those combined with oxygen. Any substance combined with oxygen, that process is called oxidation. By that oxidation, energy releases. Okay, by that oxidation, what will happen? Energy releases. That only I said now, ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So here the thing what we want to discuss this is actually respiration the word derive from Latin word respire. Respiration. Respiration. This is Latin word. What is the word? Latin word. So a respire, a respire from this word, a respiration word came out. A respire, the word is a Latin word. The meaning is breathe. What is the meaning of that? Breathe. So here, a respire means breathe, 
respire word is related to latin so that uh, respire word change as a respiration so here we can write one question the word respiration from where do we derive one more question the word respiration from where from where do we derive a respiration word derived from or derived from respire word it is belongs to latin so what is the word respire is it belongs to latin right so what i am going to say here with the help of respiration process all our cells gets energy all our cells not only our body all living bodies all animals bodies also gets energy in this pattern so one oh, four marks question i am going to explain in this session just to you watch that there are five steps are there later on we will discuss about to uh, discovery of oxygen discovery of carbon dioxide the stories which we learnt in seventh class who discovered oxygen who discovered carbon dioxide that stories we learnt in seventh itself those stories here once we want to recall first i am going to explain the steps in respiration later on we will discuss about discovery of oxygen and discovery of o carbon dioxide because if you know the steps then what is the role of oxygen and what is the role of carbon dioxide that we can discuss where when it discovered and how does it help that in the steps only we will understand so you can understand if you know the steps of the respiration so let us start the four marks question write the steps in respiration write the steps in respiration okay look here write the steps are event in respiration that we are going to discuss so there are five steps in respiration are five events in respiration how many are there five steps are those are also known as five events first one is breathing so i am going to write one by one here breathing this is the first step okay so breathing next step gases exchange takes place at lungs level gas yes okay gas yes gas yes exchange okay exchange at lungs level so here the second step is gases exchange at at lungs level that i will show with the diagram very clearly don't forget you can see the third one gas transport by blood gas transport by blood okay this is the third step okay so here three steps after i will write the remaining two steps just you remember that the thing is i am going to draw one picture here to understand what is the first one breathing okay 
breathe air into our lungs. So here, up to here lungs are there. I am going to show that picture. What happened here? Listen carefully. What is the first step? Breathing. So, what we breathe, the air which entered into our body means up to lungs. So, this is the first step. Inhalation. Inhalation. Or inspiration. Inhalation or inspiration. What happened here? The air. So, first step, breathing. We, we receive air. So, that reaches up to lungs. These are alveoli, the units of lungs, the smallest sac like structures we can see in the lungs. Around these blood vessels are there. Around these blood vessels are there. So, now the air reaches up to alveoli, up to lungs. Okay. So, what is there in the air? The properties of air you want to know. The properties of air you have to know. What are the properties of air? See, I am going to draw here. So, the lighting it, it makes some disturbance. Uh, what are the sources I had by using that I am going to teach. Just you can understand. See here. I am going to draw this one circle here. It is very clear, I think. 79 nitrogen. Okay. 21 oxygen. Hmm? Right, right. Sorry. 0 0.033% I have carbon dioxide. This is carbon dioxide. CO2. So maximum up to this this entire this. So the total this it is nitrogen 79 percentage nitrogen up to here I can see. So here 0 0.00001 percentage other inert gases other inert gases. So here nitrogen 79 oxygen 21 carbon dioxide 0 0.0333 percentage and others 0 0.00001 percentage. So these are the gases we can see in the air. So here the breathing means we want to breathe only oxygen. Remember it. We breathe air. In that air these are all present. Nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, other inert gases, xenon, radon, krypton, helium, neon, whatever the inert gases are there, those are 0 0.00001 percentage. So, that uh, this is the total air is a mixture of gases. So, all this we breathe in, this is the first step. The air we breathe, so that air reaches up to lungs. This is the first step. Then, what happened here in the second step? Gases exchange at a lungs level. Gases exchange at a lungs level. What happened? Already the air which we breathe in that oxygen consumed by our cells that change as carbon dioxide. So now here what will happen here? There is a picture in our textbook. You can see. What is the picture? I am going to draw here. Inside the lungs you are able to find like this picture. These are these are alveoli. So the units of lungs. You are going to see that. So what happened here now? The air, whatever we breathe, that reaches up to here. These are the structures. So now air inside this sac, microscopic sac. These only we call as alveoli. These are all known as units of lungs. So now, around these blood vessels are there. These microscopic sacs are richly supplied with the blood vessels. Number of the blood vessels are there. Now this mixture of gases we breathe that reaches up to lungs means up to alveoli. 
now that air up to here so already in this blood vessels whatever the carbon dioxide is there whatever the carbon dioxide is there that carbon dioxide which is present here that reaches into alveoli whatever the oxygen is there whatever the oxygen is there that comes out and it joined inside the o2 entered out co2 entered in in okay now gas exchange takes place so whatever we breathe in our breathed air inhaled air more content oxygen is there that oxygen entered into the blood so their oxygen exchanges and carbon dioxide entered into alveoli oxygen reaches into blood vessel carbon dioxide entered into this alveoli so by the exhalation carbon dioxide will come out that is inspiration expiration that is together called respiration so here external and internal respirations are there so up to here environment to lungs lungs to environment that is external internal means from the blood into cells cells into blood that the next step we are going to discuss so external respiration and internal respiration external means from atmosphere into lungs from the lungs into atmosphere that is external respiration what is internal respiration the air which we breathe that entered into blood blood into cells cells into blood that is internal respiration so here external respiration complete so now that air means required air oxygen is present inside the blood so that oxygen transported by the blood so blood carries that oxygen to all over the cells of our body so that's all that is transportation so here already we discussed in ninth class animal tissue blood is a fluid connective tissue inside the blood there are three types of cells are there red blood cells white blood cells and platelets inside the red blood cells there is a, a color pigment is there that is hemoglobin which is iron a protein one molecule is there that iron combined with this oxygen and this also combined with the carbon dioxide it collects from the cells here from the lungs it collects oxygen from the cells it collects carbon dioxide so that's what what happened here whatever it brought up to alveoli so that carbon dioxide send into the alveoli from the alveoli it collect oxygen carbon dioxide release into the alveoli from the alveoli it releases oxygen so that oxygen transported along with the red blood cells to each and every cell so this is the third step in the respiration first breathing completed second gas exchange takes place at alveoli third that gas when entered into the blood blood transport to each and every cell again in the fourth step what what is the fourth step gas is exchange takes place at the tissue level so here i am going to write exchange exchange gas yes at the tissue level so here what happened here tissue level means what now that oxygen present inside the blood already from the lungs that reaches into the blood now so here so whatever the oxygen present in the blood that release into the cells the group of the cells is called tissue already we know that what is tissue histology study of tissues so inside the tissue cells are there group of the cells with a similar function so this oxygen release into the to cells the group of the cells the tissue so now gas exchange takes place at tissue level that oxygen entered into the cells oxygen entered into the cells that only there only it collects carbon dioxide it release oxygen into the cells and it collects carbon dioxide from the cells so here quite opposite these two functions here it release carbon dioxide into the lungs and it collects oxygen from the lungs but here it release oxygen into the cells it collects carbon dioxide from the cells so quite opposite functions between that transportation here exchange transport and their exchange so which means from the lungs it brings and it keeps in the cells from the cells it collects and it keeps in the lungs 
So then what happened? The final step what? Now that oxygen, the 21% of oxygen reaches into the cells. Means group of the cells, tissue we call now. So tissues means here, number of the cells are there. Nitrogen, content of carbon dioxide and other inner gases. As it is, they will come out. Content of carbon dioxide some increase because that oxygen utilized and it changes as a carbon dioxide. So then whenever this oxygen release into the cells, along with the oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, everything release into the cell, but they will come out as is. They enter and they will come out as but that oxygen itself, only oxygen utilized by the mitochondria. Means it is not the uh, utilized by the mitochondria. What happened? So in ninth class we discussed about cell is a basic unit of life. In eighth we discussed and cell is structures and function. In ninth also we discussed. What is the other name of uh, mitochondria? Power houses of the cell. Power houses of the cell. So here once we want to recall the structure of cell from the ninth. But I am going to discuss only mitochondria. Nucleus is there, run endoplasmic reticulum, microtubules, uh, centrioles, lysosomes, everything is there. But I, I don't want to go to that much of it. Just I am going to discuss about the mitochondria. So here, this oxygen which is released into the tissues means inside the cells, all the cells receive that oxygen. That oxygen reaches up to mitochondria. So now, what happened? This oxygen combined with the glucose. From where that glucose? From the digestive system, whatever the substance is entered into the blood through the microvilli, that digested glucose and by the respiration, whatever the air entered into the blood. So both are released into the cells. Those reaches up to mitochondria. At the mitochondria, this glucose and air means oxygen combines. Glucose plus oxygen gives rest ATP. So short form I am going to write. Board is not sufficient. I want to explain more and more. But board is not sufficient. Glucose plus O2 gives rest ATP. Adenosine triphosphate. This is energy. Glucose combined with the oxygen. Glucose combined with the oxygen. So, what they say, what is oxidation? Oxygen add with any substance that is called oxidation. Here, by the respiration, breathing, gas exchange takes place at alveoli, means lungs, transportation, when it enters into the blood, it transport. Gas exchange takes place at a tissue level, so that uh, air which is entered into the blood changes at the tissue level, means that uh, oxygen released into the cells, they collect carbon dioxide. That again reaches to lungs, lungs to uh, environment, exhalation occurs. That is inhalation, exhalation. But whatever the air which entered into the cells, what happened here? That oxygen combined with the glucose, which is reached by the digestive system. That whole process occurs at the mitochondria. So, oxygen combined with the glucose at the mitochondria, which is present inside the cell. So that's what mitochondria is known as power of the cell. In ninth we learned mitochondria. What is the other name of mitochondria? Power houses of the cell. Okay. So here respiration occur means the whole process occur inside the cell. That's what it is called as cellular respiration. So these are the five steps we can find in respiration. First, breathing. Second, gas exchange takes place in uh, lungs, transportation gas exchange at tissue level and cellular respiration. These are the first steps.